Uh, what a demonstration of uh, the unparalleled, uh, remarkable relationship uh, between the European Union and the United States, uh, the two greatest democracies of the world, uh, and uh, a partnership that can never be taken for granted, which is why the leadership of Congress uh, in, um, in um, uh, keeping it alive, but frankly strengthening it every day, is something that we in Europe are deeply uh, grateful for. What a model you are. I had the opportunity to meet with the Belarusian opposition today. You're an inspiration. Uh, that's been a, actually an inspiration to the people of Cuba who want to also live in freedom and democracy. And so um, any way that I can back you up, and, uh, and, and I, I, I'm so excited for y'all, you actually get to see uh, people of both political parties working together uh, in a positive manner. Last time I met my co-chair, Jim Costa, it was in March. This uh, building was eerily empty. There were barriers up, there were hundreds of troops, uh, which was a physical manifestation of the fact that uh, even you in the United States have huge challenges to your democracy. We have them in Europe too. There are all these issues on which uh, we need to collaborate because there is an alternative model of, of running a, a modern economy, a, a, an authoritarian model. And we need to collaborate on the pandemic, on the recovery, on, uh, on regulation. But above all, we can learn from each other how to save our democracies. And that's why it's important that legislators from the United States and from the European Union, from the European Parliament, listen to each other, talk to each other, and work together on solutions to tackle all the global challenges we are facing. That's why I very much welcome the launch of this European Union caucus in the 117th Congress. And I would like to thank all our American counterparts who are interested in what we do in the European Union.